I am the best Minecraft player ever, and to prove it, I'm gonna trap every single mob inside of a giant coliseum, including the Ender Dragon, and fight them all at the exact same time to the death. Hmm. This looks like a pretty decent spawn. Now you may be wondering, is it possible to bring the Ender Dragon to the overworld in survival mode? You see, the most common ways to transport mobs is through nether portals, but the game has made it so Ender Dragons don't go through portals, and you can't even light one in the end anyway. And since the end portal doesn't light until you kill the dragon, there's no way to get it through there. And even if you did somehow light it, he ain't just gonna fly through it. Now there might be a way to get the Ender Dragon into the overworld, but we have a lot more problems. Getting the warden into a coliseum with other mobs and having it not kill them all is it's going to be hard. Even if we pull that off, mobs like piglins can't exist in the open. And how we'd get all the water mobs and, I mean, to survive in a dry cold even if we get everyone in the Well. To figure that out, we should get started. First, I want an elytra to make building the Colosseum a lot easier. Which means we need to get a few things first and beat the game. And it all starts with treasure hunting. You see, speedrunners use this technique to beat the game even quicker. Hey! Oh no, 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 no. Hmm. That went well. By looting ruined nether portals and shipwrecks, you can skip mining and the need for villagers early on. Ugh. Bingo. Hmm. Time to eradicate the locals. Oh, oh, ah. oh, no. oh no, oh no, oh no. New plan, new plan, new plan. Yeah. <gasps> oh, yes, 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 yes. Now that I have my armor and tools, it's time to get to the nether. By using lava and water, we can make a portal extremely fast. Ah, crap. <laughs> oh, it's coming through the portal! Whew, didn't make it. Now we need a... No, 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 you are not hitting me off. Uh, I can make that right. Go, go, go. Okay, so a bastion and a fortress will make the fastest way to get to the end here. Now, some may say this is a bad idea. I'm immediately lost. Wait to find the gold in here to trade with the piglins for ender pearls, and then we can leave. But we need to avoid any brutes. Oh, it's a big boy. Place these and- oh, oh, no! Big boy's coming! Run, 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 run! Okay, I have a dumb idea. Oh, there's two! Heh. <laughs> Give me them toes! Now we just need to get to the bottom and get the chests. Ah, crap. That was a lot of damage. Now, we have a problem. The second we open these chests, an army of piglins will murk us. But they have one fatal flaw. Their eyes. If you build a wall around a bastion chest and then open it, their coating doesn't allow them to see through the wall. And when you leave, they act like nothing ever happened. So... Oh, this was totally worth it. Now we just need to get out of here alive. Nice. Oh! 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 Who's hitting me now? Who's hitting me now? Oh my gosh. Um, who is shooting at me? Just gonna grab these up. No, no. Now, we just need to find some piglins to trade off our hard-earned gold. I have a hole for you. It's not what it looks like. It's a very nice hole. Now, piglins only have a 2.148% chance of dropping enderpearls, so this could take a while. Nobody gave me enderpearls! All right, let's see if you guys did better. And where's the hole I put them in? It's 12 enderpearls. And now, to get to the end, we need to find another fortress. But we aren't gonna find it like some peasant would. We're gonna use pie. No, not the yummy pie, though. The math pie. Opening up a special menu in Minecraft, we can track block entities. What we're looking for are blaze spawners. Now, using the advanced math you learned in grade 4, we can deduce it 16 chunks in a direction. We just gotta figure out what direction. Using our render distance, we can increase or decrease our eyesight. Ugh, oh, that's really bright. Ha, it's gone. Just like my girlfriend. <laughs> Forever. Oh. Now that we've deduced it's between 15 and 16 chunks, we just gotta walk into a new chunk until it reappears. And bam! It's that way. Go, 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 go. And there she is. <laughs> Not my girlfriend. Uh, she's still gone. But, um, the fortress. Ha! <laughs> Can't light me on fire. Oh, oh, you can hit me, though. You can hit me. Okay, that's a lot of damage. All right, we got our blaze rods. So now we need to head back to the overworld and get a couple more things and then go right to the end. And now to find the stronghold. To make this a bit quicker, we can use what the best speedrunners in Minecraft are using. Trigonometry. <laughs> It sounded cooler in my head. By throwing an eye of ender and recording an angle of 89 degrees, then turning 90 degrees and throwing it again, we get an angle of 87 degrees. Now I can already hear you. Why is he doing math? Well, suck it, because I just figured out the stronghold is roughly 500 blocks that way using this chart. So I'm going to run 62 blocks in the nether and I should be roughly there. Oh, 
Oh, I, I literally almost mined right by that. I didn't even notice. <laughs> All right, we found the portal. But before we go in, we need to get one more thing. You see, elytras are found in end cities, and those are thousands of blocks away. And since walking is for peasants and people who want to fall into the void, I'm going to make a flying machine. But to do that, we need to get some slimes before we go in there. Okay, we just need a bow. All right, let's head into the end. Now, let's remove this big boy from existence. Uh oh, <laughs> oh. Huh. Didn't think you're. Oh, Ooh. I'm gonna kill this entire thing. Oh, Ooh. Ah. Ooh. what hit me? What hit me? Oh no! Ah. Don't you dare fly away! No, don't! I just, I said, don't do it. <clears throat> Flawless. Now, you might be wondering, how am I supposed to trap the Ender Dragon and bring it to the Urval world if she's dead? Well, I'll respawn her, you silly goose. But now it's time to get the Elytra. And for that, we have the Flying Machine 6000! <laughs> This thing's literally a death trap. Now, there's no way to ride my magnificent machine, so I've come up with my own way. <laughs> this has a, a high chance of not going well. Go, 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 get in the boat. <gasps> I'm a genius. I never doubted for one second. <laughs> this has a, a high chance of not going well. Ah, end city spotted. Now to greet the locals. Gifts for me? There she is, boys, the Elytra. And we'll just take this over here. Now we just have to go through. Oh, I don't want, I want my Elytra on. Oh! Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. All right, with stage one out of three done, it's time to start stage two, the Colosseum. First, we need to find Zero Zero in the overworld. This will be important for trapping the Ender Dragon a bit later. Now, I don't want to build some shrimpy Colosseum. I want something to rival that of even Rome's mighty Colosseum. <laughs> There's just one small problem. I have no idea how to build one. So with the lack of knowledge, I spent the next six hours researching and plotting a build. Once I had a rough diagram, I started construction. <laughs> or, or I would have, except um, it's, it requires over 433,894 blocks. And um, I'm slightly broke. Yeah, nope, I ain't modding this. So, stage one, we're gonna need to collect the resources to make a machine that'll do the work for us. Ouch. And now we can construct cobblestone generator. You thought I was gonna do the cobblestone generator 8,000 thing? <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway, the TNT duper will drop TNT into the circle of lava and water, creating an explosion. But the blocks here are all waterlogged, so only the cobblestone will break, creating a river of yummy stone. Now, we could AFK here for a few hours to get enough for the Colosseum. Or, or, hear me out. We go mining for four hours to get stacks of redstone and iron, spend six hours building three of them and remarkably not messing up at all, and then relish in the riches. <laughs> <laughs> Cobblestone. Yeah, that wasn't painful at all. Also, I trapped two trader llamas as we'll need them later. I didn't get the wandering trader. He, um, he didn't make it. Pretty sick build, eh? Hey! Now that we have a bunch of stone going, we need to trap a warden. Hear me out. Trapping every mob is one thing, but keeping them from despawning is another. However, if we use a name tag on a mob, it won't despawn. Hehe. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And there's one place that name tags spawn more than anywhere. Ancient cities. Now, here's the plan. We go in and we smack the warden around a little. Put the lad in a cage with a toy to distract him. Build a machine to prevent future wardens from being birthed. And then loot the ancient cities for all their loot. <laughs> this won't go horribly wrong. And now let's try to trap a warden while I tell you about today's sponsor. Oh, Honk Guy Impact. Okay, we need to clear a zone around this one. Honk Guy uses surreal scenery and amazing gameplay to really immerse you in their worlds. Ooh, no, 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 no. Uh, hop into Honkai 3rd and begin the new chapter in the story that starts in Nagazora. Something is amiss, though. There's a great- Okay, I need to leave. I need to leave. No, 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 see me, don't see me. Something is amiss, though. A big eruption has summoned the great investigators onto the scene, and- I don't know! Just like this ancient city, there's tons to explore. The character Susanna will become Valkyrie Quicksand in this version and get sick new moves to help her in combat. Oh, I need help in combat. 
I need something to help. Oh, don't step on these. This lady literally fights with dancing to music. Talk about facing your enemies in style. By playing in some of the events, not only can you see some cute kittens. Oh, I wish I had some cute kittens right now. But you can earn in-game currency and exchange it for the all-coveted crystal and other valuable items to help you progress in the Meowtown Escapade event. He's not stuck. He is definitely not stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Want to compete but have the fight somewhat balanced? Okay, okay. Just leaving. Just leaving. Oh, no. I got stuck on a wall. I got stuck on a wall. Well, then you can join the Hami World Championship with new maps and cool fighting techniques. Oh, you can move in. You're sure to have a lot of fun, unlike I'm having. Grab some of Honkai's new outfits for your character and get your game face on and join up to get 30 crystals. Okay, I think I'm good over here. Oh, I'm not good. I'm not good. Wait, 2,888 asteroids and one character free trial card. New players will even get more bonuses. Use the code. Hold. Oh, use the code new chat to get all the new stuff. Download it. Do it now. Do it now. Okay, he's gone now. Being a bit more careful this time, we're going to use wool to cover up the shrieker. All right, and now we can begin the plan. Ooh, diamond hoe. We are gonna castrate the deep dark. <laughs> Wait, what? No, but, but seriously. You see, according to the wiki, the warden will only spawn if something like this happens. Yo, bro, call the warden, the warden. No, Jerry. Bro, there's something there. Jerry, remember last time it was a rabbit. I see something and it's not a rabbit. No, you don't. It's smacking me with a hoe. Now there's a key weakness here. When the shrieker gets the fourth signal from the skulk sensor, it'll spawn a warden. But a warden can only spawn if there are blocks nearby the sensor. And since only one shrieker can be activated at a time, if we can trick the sensor into repeating a signal to that shrieker, no warden will ever spawn again. Now, before we castrate the deep dark, we need to catch a warden so we can bring him to the Colosseum later. And for that, we have the biggest brain play. I call it the piston in a box. <laughs> I'm going to die. Oh, 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 there he is. Good job doing the climbing. Come on, come on. Are you stuck? Oh, you're not stuck. That was a dirty lie. You're... Okay. Okay, come on. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. No! Oh! oh! Go! Oh, did... there's no way. Now we just need to collect some iron, make an anvil, and we name tag him to prevent him from despawning. Time to not eat me, aim you. I like how peaceful it looks. And now we're free to pillage the ancient city. Now before we leave, we need to start the machine. The sensor sends a signal down this chute. The shrieker will then attempt to spawn a warden, but since there is no ground close by, it cannot. This portal acts as a chunk loader, utilizing a dropping method I learned from El Mango. This will stop any warden from spawning in this deep dark biome or any other ancient city or biome around the world. All right, now we gotta get home and balance building the Colosseum and catching all the rest of the mobs. But since we're here, I'm stuck in the stupid snow. Oh no. Where's my goat? Where's my goat? Oh, he's suffocating. No, I killed Godekiss. Since I lost my goat, I did the only reasonable thing. I stole Godekiss's brother. <laughs> Fly, Godekiss's brother. Fly. Meet your new friends, go to kiss his brother. <laughs> that is, until I make you all fly into the death. Name tagged. But enough fooling around. We need to start the Colosseum. First, we need to clear a huge chunk of land. You see, once we get all the mobs in here, fitting in the three bosses as well will cause absolute havoc. And by my calculations, the only way to avoid the Ender Dragon and Warding mauling everyone in here is to make a Colosseum that's 210 by 210 blocks. Or in other words, the biggest Colosseum ever made in survival mode. Oh boy. Okay, that took way longer than I planned. <laughs> like eight hours longer. But I think we have a good foundation to build. Now... All right, four out of 85 mobs captured. I think the best way to approach a building of this size is to get the skeleton done first. So, building the foundation of this thing is actually pretty complex. You see, I have to make sure it's perfect according to my plans, because if it isn't, mobs won't have enough space when I trap them in here. And I mean, what if the Elder Guardian sees the Wither, or the Warden sees an Iron Golem, or the Ender Dragon sees a... Ah. We have run out of andesite, and um, this is a problem because the build's only like 10% done. So... The Colosseum requires 80,000 of these blocks. So if we want, we can come into the mines here and mine a bunch of the andesite up. Or... Or... Hear me out. I could fly over to the village and prison all the villagers in a deep hole, remove their livelihoods from existence, turn them into masons, steal their food and force them to breed, fly their neighbors and imprison them all. No! Oh shoot, I hit him. Don't let him tell the other villagers! No! Get back here! You know what? That works, actually. Yeah. You can just stand there. Heal all their food and force them to breed, then find 4,000 blocks the nearest jungle to find bamboo and a panda that won't let me take it home. Do you go on a lead? Aw, oh, no. Fly back home, spend three hours researching bamboo farm techniques, build a single layer bamboo farm with the servers and pistons, then spend two hours more to build three more layers. 
then double it, then triple it. If get the farm to turn the bamboo into sticks, fly back to the village I imprisoned earlier. Whee! Trade the sticks for the fletches for emeralds, and trade the emeralds to the masons to get tons of anisite. <laughs> that is 11 hours of my life I will never get back. Now we can finish the skeleton of the build. All right, now that the base is done, I want to test something. To keep all the mobs so close together is going to be hard. They're all going to need their separate space. But when the time comes to fight, I'll need to release them all at once, so they have to be close together. Now, I just need a few mobs to test this idea <gasps> out with. Is he going to blow up if I go in the boat with him? Wait, are you mad at me? Yeah, you are! Okay, well, that didn't work. Now you can come over here. Good job! Yeah! Now, if I get him here... Oh, it'd be so much easier if I had him. Oh, well, that worked. Come on. Oh, no! Yes, 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 yes. Everything will be connected to one sign. Then, we'll break the sign. All the mobs will be released at once. And it'll be <laughs> such chaos. Now, before we begin stage three of the Coliseum, I want to bring the warden here. You see, it would be a real shame if I died trying to get one of the bosses here, so to prove I can do it before I put in all this work, I want to try and capture him. Now, some people have used the nether, built these large tunnels, and slowly brought him to their base. Why? Well, I ain't got time for that. So, I'm gonna do the more practical thing. I'm gonna make a giant cannon, stuff him in there, make a nuke's worth of TNT, and then launch him into the stratosphere where he'll sail 1200 blocks, then slowly float down right into his prison cell. This is gonna work flawlessly. First, I have to grab and make a ton of supplies to construct the cannon. First, we gotta add some sweet sneak onto these leggings. And now that we have everything, it's time to fly off and actually build the cannon. This design was by an amazing redstoner called Sava, who promised me a 50% chance it would work. <laughs> oh no. With the cannon done, we need a pathway down to the deep dark, so... I'll explain how the cannon works when we get the warden in it, since, um, that may be kind of difficult. We need to get him, like, a hundred blocks upwards, and to do it, I have an amazing method. I call it the Noisemaker Warden Follower Trail Machines. <laughs> I'm gonna just place these all over the place and try not to die. Oh, I hate not being able to see. I can see him. I know he's not coming. <sighs> this is really stupid. What if I smack him? This is dumb. Go, go, go. He's dancing. <laughs> oh, the man's dancing. No idea where I'm running. Go, go, go. Oh, he's a coming. He's a coming. I'm just, I'm not stopping. <sighs> That's why. We skip a level. I think we go for beans, boys. He has a habit falling off of things. So we're going to need to build some guardrails here. How an idea this stupid is working. Go. Okay. Okay. He's doing his thing. Ooh, we need to fix that. He is standing on the ledge. This is not how I planned this going down. Okay, we gotta get this out of the way. Don't sniff me. Stop sniffing. I have no idea how I'm alive right now. Now, water. Water. Close it up. Close it up. Oh, fly away. Fly away. Where did he go? Did he walk off? He's in. He's in. I am a genius. I am the smartest man alive. Oh, ah! Ooh, okay, now it's time for launch. The cannon works on a very basic principle. By lowering my simulation distance, the TNT duper, similar to my cobblestone farm one, will infinitely generate, but since I'm too far away, it won't go off. Meaning, if we stack up the right amount of TNT, about 6,000, it will go off all at once when I get close and send this man straight into the stratosphere. The powdered snow in the dispenser acts as an aiming tool and using something called Lazy Excel, we can direct- Ooh, it's done. As soon as I extend my simulation distance to 32, it's gonna register all that TNT. Hey, look! Bees are frozen. The game is calculating how all that TNT. You know, this could blow up right in my face. Right now. And I'd be very dead. Okay, so he's about to get shot like 50,000. Oh, he's gone. Huh. Uh, how is he already here? Pause. So looking back at the footage, he literally disappeared instantly. He's in this frame, and then he's gone the next frame. Here, gone, here, gone, here, gone, here, gone, here. This man literally just broke the sound barrier. This is how fast Steve runs in Minecraft. In comparison, a horse runs about this fast. If Minecraft had cars, they would pass the horse quite easily. A rocket ship would destroy the car, but this is how fast the warden just went. It just traveled 1,200 blocks in 0 .001 second. Huh. All right, now time to place like 50,000 stone. One could say I'm at rock bottom <laughs> right now. Get it? Boo! Yeah, I, mean, I thought it was funny. Okay, we have a problem, and it's not just my jokes. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Oh, run, run. What just happened? What just happened? Why? I can't fly. I can't fly. Ah. See, we have an issue. 
I could add looting to my sword, kill some phantom, you know, go kill some creepers and get some gunpowder. It dropped literally nothing. Or, or, hear me out. We fill up our shuckles with cobblestone, fly to an open spot, realize we forgot something, fly back, craft a zillion trapdoors, build a one level mob farm, fall off. Oh! <laughs> fall off! Build 10 more levels. Ah, crap. We need more trapdoors. Deforce the local landscape. Sorry, Greta. Plant a sapling, fly back home, craft a zillion more trapdoors, finish the creeper mob grinder at a killing and storage system, fly to a nearby village and slave the. Hmm. Aw, oh, come on. Find the villagers have enslaved themselves. Oh, well, uh, this is really convenient. <laughs> Find out I have fewer morals than a cat. You think you can hang out with the cool villagers, eh? Not a chance. Just gonna... Oh, just gonna... Whoop. Turn them all into a library and spend like 10... Oh, you... Oh, oh, I got it the first try. I got it the first try. All right, now I must protect them. All right, I'm out of dirt. Um... I'm sure they'll be fine. <laughs> fly, walk back home, make a billion sticks, and then fly. Eh, I don't want to walk all the way over there. Pig, carry me. Walk up a mountain and trade for emeralds. Walk all the way back. Get the menu book, add to my elytra, craft a billion rockets, and fly again. And we can fly again. <laughs> oh, right. I gotta build a giant coliseum and trap 90 more mobs. <clears throat> Right, I should get back to that probably. <laughs> Before trapping a lot of the mobs, I began work on the main structure of the Colosseum, raising the walls to around the height they're gonna be at when it's finished. All right, we're at like 75% now. Ouch. Now we need to get to trapping some mobs. I think I'll start with the passive ones as they seem to be the easiest, but before we do that, we actually need some name tags. So... Huh, I got like 20 notch apples from that. All right, time to get some prisoners. Uh, pets, pets. They are pets. <clears throat> oh, our first member! Go in the hole! Go in the hole! Ah! <laughs> the warden has a friend now. You have a big nose. Heh, <laughs> frugge. <laughs> what? No, 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 no! With about half the passive mobs now acquired, I need to begin expanding the cages. <clears throat> houses. Little houses for the pets. Alright, so we formed this little perimeter around the entire sort of mob cage area and that's for the water mobs this way when everything gets released the water is going to push everything into the middle now i thought the passive mobs would be the easiest to collect but little did i know one of the hardest mobs in the entire game was in the passive mob category the squid man just walking my squid but uh we'll find out here in a second yeah so how do we get you up uh yes 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 uh shoot Oh, um, back in the water. Oh no! No, oh, Squidward! Yeah, stay in the water. Oh! I hate my life. Can a mushroom fly is the question I would like to know. The answer is no. No, they cannot. It, it looks like he's trying to attack me. Oh yeah, yeah, dance, dance. I don't know what he's- Ow! He's attacking! This is ethical. This is 100% ethical. Steal the children! I mean, you Billy too. Now, with nearly all the passive mobs captured, we need to figure out one of the hardest parts of this, the nether mobs. You see, we need to get the nether mobs into the overworld, but there's a problem. Piglins and hoglins cannot exist in the overworld. If we bring them here, then they're gonna convert into zombie pigmen and zoglins. But it wouldn't be a battle of all the mobs if we didn't have them here. So I think I have an idea. But first, we need to make a giant portal right above where the ender dragon's gonna be. <laughs> Don't know we're gonna get him here. Right, I forgot to put this guy here. Now we just need to capture all the nether mobs. <laughs> There's only like eight, so how hard can it be? Whee! <laughs> that's the wrong idea. Wrong idea. Yeah, 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 okay, we got him in, we got him in. Go, 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 go. Oh, he doesn't go in minecarts. Run! You're too big to fit in here, aren't you? Oh, no, you're not. Perfect. Hey, give me back my minecart. <laughs> Nothing happened. He's <gasps> in. Hello! Nothing. Oh, finally. Come on. Come on. Yeah. All right. That was painful. So, here's my idea. I'm going to send in all the mobs at the exact same time through the nether portal right as the ender dragon arrives and all the mobs are released. This way, technically speaking, we'll have every mob in the game here for at least like five seconds. You know, the more I think about it, the more I realize I may want more than just pants for this fight. 
Hmm. I'll create the final contraption to get them all in later. For now, though, I want to finish the Colosseum so we can get the rest of the overworld mobs here. To complete the build, we're going to need like 20,000 red wool. So... This is completely humane. I think one just died. Using the bamboo as fuel for the cobblestone to be turned into bricks, we were able to get the final 100,000 blocks or so. She's a beauty. Now we still have to finish the floor, but first I want to get all the mobs here so I can get the final spacing. I think the best way to do this is to get the rest of the neutral mobs first. First thing we gotta do is find a mine shaft. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Come on, big boys. Oh, they're a fast bunch. Hello! Ooh. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Oh no, oh no. Go, go, oh, So close. Oh no, he's mad at me. Tag, he took my block. Come on. Ooh, hmm, go. Yeah, okay. Now to finish off our collection, we need to get the hostile mobs, but that's gonna require a bit more planning. Let's get the easy ones first though. Come here. No. Ow. ow, ow, ow. You know what? I don't even care. Go, 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 go. Oh. Okay. Hey, oh. <laughs> no. Ow. Don't ask. What? All right, this plan's gonna work flawlessly. Ow, 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 ow. One eternity later. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh. Flawless. <laughs> yes, yes, no, no, yes. Oh, come on, come on. <sighs> stay in, stay in. Don't go, don't, don't go. Now, we have to trap all the raid mobs, and I think I have an amazing plan to do it. This is going well. This is going very well. Oh, I got stuck in a mountain. Red boy. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. Now all we have to do is go to a village, start a raid, trap all the mobs, and bring them over to our base. How hard can that be? Ooh, I'm into steroids. He's moving so fast. Where's the evoker? Where's the evoker? No, no, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Get, get in the boat. Yes, yes, he's in the boat. He's in the boat. Yeah, so you get name tag. Ah! Yeah, right, come on. Come on. No, no, no. Can I hit you? Yes, I can. Oh, 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 that was dodgy. Now, there is no way that we're going to try and walk that evoker all the way over here. So I have a better idea. All right. Egg. Yes, yes. Oh, no. No. Come here. Come here. Oh, no. Go. What? Oh, no. Go. Yeah. Okay. Now that we have nearly every mob captured, we need to focus on the three main bosses. The Elder Guardian, the Wither, and then finally, the Ender Dragon. Oh boy. First, we're gonna get the Elder Guardian. To do this, we need to find a monument. Now, we're gonna need to get him back to our base using minecart rails, but we have a problem. My base is 1,400 blocks away. If I build the rails on the ground, he has a high chance of suffocating if he goes by a tree, and if a mob stands on the rails, he's gonna stop, and I'm gonna have to go down there and push him. I could build a giant tunnel, but that would take hours. So there's only one real solution to this. Build an automatic bridge maker 100 blocks in the sky. Now, I'm not sure if I built this thing to go the right way, but uh, we're about to find out. So if I sit in the minecart. Oh, it works. Now we just wait. Huh, went a bit too far. Now we gotta figure out how to get the guardian out of the temple. To do that, we throw sand at the ocean. Literally. Once we make a box of sand, we jump down and place sponges, which magically cause the ocean to disappear. Minecraft is weird. Jeez, bro, you're acting like you don't want to be caged up and fight to the death. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, yes. Yes, go. Don't sting me. Don't do it. Oh, there he goes. Don't die. Please don't die. Hey. Oh, oh, we got it. Oh, run. Oh, okay. Get away, get away, get away. Get away. There he goes. Slowest man alive. Bloop. Okay. Not sure if he needs water, but here you go. Ow! Now while we're at it, we'll grab a guardian and plop him far away from the other mobs. And why not snatch a witch from the balcony? There she goes. And we'll grab a shulker from the end. Can't be that hard, right? This is a moment captured from the attempt. This is a shulker refusing to enter the overworld. No, 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 no. <laughs> and this is a warden floating after the shulker shot him. Now we miss showing a few of the mobs being captured, but here's the axolotl, a zoglin, a piglin, a glow squid, and an LA. Now all we have left is the Wandering Trader, the Wither, and the Ender Dragon. The Wandering Trader has to be done at the end, so let's prep the Wither. First, we need some skulls. So... Ooh. What the 
heck is that thing? Why are you standing on each other? Get off. Now, before we build the wither cage, let's finish the floor. Okay, before we put the wither in and get the ender dragon, we gotta make sure everything is ready. First thing we're gonna do is replace all this dirt with sand so that when everything gets released, these creatures don't have little things above their head. Okay, so first we have to wait for a wandering trader to show up. We're gonna trap him, build the weather cage, and then leave. And when we come back, we'll have the ender dragon in our hand. <laughs> I hope. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Go, go, go. Uh, don't ask what happened to the llamas. <laughs> We only have like 30 minutes before he despawns, so we gotta get the wither down now. I got this amazing design from this YouTuber, but I made one small adjustment. Okay, well, let's hope I built this thing correctly. Uh, give me my anvil. All right, and here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Break. Leave the premises. Okay. Okay. Now we get the things. Oh. Now, when I load the chunks again, the wither's gonna be free. I left out part of the build. This way, when I return and break the signs and load in the chunks, everything will be set free. Now I want full netherite armor. So we need diamonds and netherite. That's a lava lake. Oh, no. And I just need a bit of gold. And we can make all our netherite and... Now you may be wondering, there's no way at this point in the video he would go into a bastion and risk death after accomplishing nearly everything. He's not that stupid. He was. He was that stupid. Steal all the things. Arriving at a village, I stole their smithing table and made my full netherite gear. It was now time. Time to get the ender dragon into the Colosseum. Dum dum dum. What dramatic music there. <laughs> I'm so cool. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is place a bunch of blocks in the sky. You see, in a normal dragon fight, the dragon flies to pre-designated spots. But a glitch was found where if you put blocks at a high Y level at these spots, the dragon gets confused since there isn't just air there and then he freezes. Now that it's finished, we need to respawn the ender dragon. Now we just gotta take out all the crystals and then we'll get- Ow! Hey! Okay, now we just camp the last crystal and we wait for him to perch. Please don't shoot those at me. Oh, he's going down. He's going down. The minute he touches, he's touched. Boom. And we fly towards him. Hey, friend. Ow. And he, he's frozen. It worked. It half worked. Okay, now now we just have to move this giant man. He, he just killed an enderman right in front of me. Oh, he's moving. Yes, we're moving him. We have to get him all the way over there. So uh, this could take a minute. We need to kidnap this giant being and send him off into another galaxy so we can kill another one of his kin. Am I evil? Nah, nah. Sad. Oh, he's near the gateway. Does this mean he's gonna go? Ooh, it worked. He's gone. Now that he's gone, the game should send a new ender dragon back to spawn after like a few minutes. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. All right, well, he hasn't come down in an eternity. So I'm gonna go up there and see what's going on. Ah, I see. Okay, one more. Oh, oh no. I really hope I have my light. I do. Okay. okay, now he should light the portal once he dies. Ah, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Me. Are you like that, huh? All right, so now that the portal is lit, we need to bring the ender dragon back here. I may need to push him back. Oh, oh, he's gone. He went back. He went back. Okay, let's grab our lever. Now he's gonna smack us when we get to the other side, so... Okay, this is where we go back. He's gonna smack us. All right, we're good. And he should be frozen. Okay, so it just took a while, but he froze while flying right to the middle of this pillar, which is really inconvenient. Um, And now for the final part. We push him into the middle of the island and dip him into the portal. This will create a duplicate dragon on the other side, I think. I, I hope. If this fails, I'm so screwed. You see, by dipping the Ender Dragon's hitboxes into the portal, the game for some reason creates a duplicate at 0, zero in the overworld. The developers never thought that some idiot would ever figure out a way to light the portal with the Ender Dragon still alive. But they've never met me. I googled it. I had to fly through the portal to get out because he kept smacking me. We gotta get out, we gotta get out, we gotta get out. Go, 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 go. We can clear the chunks, clear the chunks. Oh, we can only, I only pray that works. Okay, we need to get it far away. Now, there is currently an ender dragon sitting in the middle of my Colosseum. So before he destroys everything and everybody, we need to get the nether mobs here. All right, so let's build a portal right here. Break the minecart, he'll go through. Push this guy, break the minecart. Okay, he's gone. All right, push this chonky boy. Go, okay, maybe he's in. Yeah, he's in. Okay. You're, you're, you're really close. No, nope, no. Nope. Come here. Oh, did he go through? Yeah, he gone. Okay. Hey, get right in the corner. Hello, sir. Oh, we need to break his minecart. Okay. He's gone through. All right. First thing we got to do is fly really far away because we don't want to spawn in right inside of that Colosseum. We want to be a distance away to get prepped. Okay. Let's hop through and let's pray that we don't end up in the Colosseum because that would be really bad. And we're good. Ooh, diamonds. All right, we're within about a thousand blocks. We're going to hold back and we're going to wait for it to be nighttime. This way, all the other mobs won't get burned by the sun and I can officially kill everybody. Okay, so we got to go 
far. We gotta go far right to avoid the Colosseum. We gotta find the cobblestone bridge that we made. Okay, perfect. We gotta circle all the way around and try not to run out of rockets. We gotta break the signs. We gotta break the signs and we gotta run in. We're gonna go as far as our rockets will take us. Okay, here's. Oh, that's the Colosseum. That's that's the entrance we want actually. Let's get really far away. I really hope not everything is dead. Okay, now we go for it. Free gapple. Get pickaxe out. We need to destroy the signs as we land. And where are they? Go, 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 no. That didn't work. It did work. Oh, the ender dragon's here. Everybody's here. Oh, woo. Okay, everyone's dying. Everybody's gonna die. Oh, this man got pushed directly. Oh, 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 no, no. Oh, yeah, they're all waiting for me. No. You know what? This is an easy kill. Somebody poisoned me. I'm running right towards the wither. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Everybody get distracted on the wither. Oh, you're still not distracted on the wither. I, I can't see. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know why. I splash that down. I probably didn't need to. That man is still chasing me. Mayor, I'm killing something. You are the thing that's going to die. Oh, I don't know if I actually needed to be scared. Oh, he killed them. Oh, no, Billy. Billy 2.0 is coming. This guy's just wandering around. I don't know where this man's going. He's going to get smoked. Correct. Oh, he dropped a totem. I don't even want the totem. Where's, where is the wither? Oh, he's up there. Okay. Okay. I need to avoid him. This guy out. Ow. Stop. Stop hitting me. Okay. There's a glow squid. You, you can die too. Okay. Death to you. No. Move. 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 Okay. I'm sorry, Wolf. I know you're my friend, but you need to die. Everybody needs to die. Oh, I'm so sorry. This warden is still. I gotta. I gotta kill the warden. Okay. Yeah. Get distracted. Stay distracted. Oh, I don't like this. He looked at me. He looked at me real funny. Can I kill him? Did I put him in a hole? Oh, this works. Oh, it doesn't work. I get take that back. I immediately take that back. Oh, is the wither on top? Oh, the wither's on top. I don't have a bow. Uh. Okay. This. This could be problematic. Kill the panda. Oh, I make such a funny noise. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm not sorry, but I. Ah! Oh, everything's after me. Oh, I, I need to get away. I can't fly. I'm under everything. Using one of these. What's going on up here? What's going on? That man's shooting at me. The warden. Oh, the weather is still okay. I I need to I need to solo one of these things out. The Ender Dragon does not care. He is chilling, and I am okay with that. But this wither. Oh god, I did not plan a good enough bow for this. Oh, I needed to I need him to come down to melee. I need I need to stay away from the warden. Ow ow! Stop! I need to stay away from the warden and keep hitting him. Okay, I missed him. That's probably not what I was trying to do there. No. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, the warden hit me. I need to. Okay, I'm just gappling. I'm gappling again. I don't trust this. I don't trust this. Okay. Where's the wither? Of course, he's right there. Makes sense. Why wouldn't he be right above my? Please. Oh, every time he kills a mob he gets health back. You know what? I could go to my chest and grab a bow. I also don't want to die. That would be that'd be a horrible situation. Come on, come on. I just gotta get him to melee. Stop! Stop! Let me fight you! Why do you suck? I hate you. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Oh, there's a mushroom down here. No! Stop it! Stop it! Uh, this is gonna take a while. Get my sword out. It's gonna be a lot easier. I think. I hope. Okay, my health is okay. As long as the warden doesn't come over here, we're good. Not a statement I usually say when fighting the wither. Oh, my health. No, I'm just, I'm sending it. I'm sending it. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Okay, now I gotta go find the warden. Is the warden dead? No, he's not dead. Oh, there he is. Hello, sir. Hello. This is a really sad fight, but I'm okay with it. You're just kind of stuck there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's doing his- Oh, I got stuck. Oh, no. Maybe I can just sneak in. Oh, I think he missed me. <laughs> you know, nerd. That's right. You're stuck in a hole. Oh, I am stuck here with you. That is true. That That is actually slightly problematic. I just, I'm just gonna keep gappling. Oh, oh, oh. Move away. Move away. Okay. I, as long as I stay on top of my health, I'll be fine. Um, I really shouldn't be down here with him. No, no, no. Okay, keep gappling. Keep gap. You know what? I need to get out of here. I need to get out. Uh, I need to get out. I need to get out. I need to get out. Okay. Oh, okay. Chill. That's- Whoa! Wait, this man's stuck down here with me. Oh, no. Chill. Okay, there's a sheep that died down here and a little late. I'm sorry, LA, but you need to- Okay, you need to die. You need to die. As long as I can keep him away from the melee. He's dead. He is a dead boy. Okay. All we have left is is the ender dragon who who for some reason is just just chilling up there okay and this guy needs to die um you know what i'll let you out of your, your mine cart here because you stole all of my sand um yeah so i'm gonna go and grab a bow real quick i have returned can i hit him midair oh i got you midair boy oh i felt now, i think he will come down at half health fight but we're gonna have to find out oh yeah now now he's doing his thing he should come down here to zero zero come here come here boy come here okay maybe i'm just gonna oh he's fireballing me okay he, he, that means he's below 50 percent. he is really flying around. End stone. Okay, get in there. Get, we gotta smack him. Oh, he smacked me. Smack him. I think I'm hitting him. It's very quiet, but I think he's, he's getting hit. Oh, can I take him down? Can I take him down from this? Come on, please. Please. Oh, no, of course not. Uh, of course not. He's just gonna keep flying around. He's gonna do his little patterns. I'm gonna snipe. Man, my aim is on fire. I've been hitting him like all... Oh, maybe he's flying slower. No, I'm better. I've decided. Move, pig. Come on. He's gotta be low. They don't they don't show health bars in the overworld, but but he's gotta be low. I've decided. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, don't, don't get hit by those. Oh, is he coming down to perch again? He is coming down to perch. Going down to my end stone. Here I come. Here I come. Don't bat me away. Gap one in case he does. Uh, I need to move this, this stone. Come on. Yes. Okay, right here. Oh, I'm doing damage. I'm doing big damage. Oh, he's dead. He is a dead boy. 
Have I done it? Every mob dead. Wait, I, I gotta look. I gotta look. Um, okay, I don't know how I'm gonna look. Oh, the cow got away! Billy the cow! Oh, you boys think you can hide? Oh, I got stuck. Not a chance, Billy! Billy the grown-up! I got you, you were a teddy bear! Boys, I think we did it. Somehow, my back hurts from that, and I'm not exactly sure how that happened. Well, with that, you can now answer the question, what happens if you put every single mob into a coliseum and fight them all at once?